Now I'm going to share with you guys a very private conversation I had recently. Indeed moments ago. Yeah. And this is what somebody was telling me. Na kwambia Chris, hii dunia imeisha. Eh? Kama mwanaume anaweza kuanza kulialia ati yako kwa shida, wanawake wanamsumbua, hii dunia imeisha. Ati mtu, tena si mtu wa kawaida ni mkubwa. Mkubwa anasema, "Ai, hizi picha wanawake wananitumia picha wakiwa uchi. Ai, saidia, saidia." Na kwambia Chris hii dunia imeisha. Sio ni mwanaume kama mimi. Wewe kweli unaweza pata shida na mwanamke? Eh? Ati anakutumia mapicha ati yako uchi. Eh? Chris, can you fail to handle such a problem? You're a man. Eh? How does a man fail to handle a problem of females? Hebu niambie, hiyo ilianza mwaka gani? Kama ingekuwa mimi, hata sisemi in public. Naambia wanawake tuma, tuma. In, in fact, tuma ile inaonesha kila kitu, tuma, tuma zote. <laughs> Now, let me just be very clear. I don't support the views of this man who was telling me this story. Okay? But I understand him. Yeah, he's a man. And I understand the gist of what he's saying. Okay? Now I know a lot of you listening to this recording might get me wrong. So let me also be even clearer. Okay? It is normal in this day and age, yeah, for a man who has fallen in love with this lady, yeah, to ask the lady to send her nudes, yeah, to send him nudes. And if the lady loves him enough, she will do that. Yeah, she'll send him which she'll expect the man to keep private. It is part of the modern love game. Yeah. Now of course there are moral issues of course you might feel I you know but I'm just saying this is the reality on the ground and on this channel we talk about the reality on the ground without fear or favor and that is the reality but now there's something else which is very different from that and which this friend of mine was not able to grasp and this is a situation whereby you receive nudes from strangers women you don't know you've never met you've never talked to yeah they keep on bombarding your your phone with uh, <laughs> very crazy photographs of themselves yeah in birthday suit and of course if you're a naive man <laughs> you can end up in a lot of trouble because uh, you ask yourself what is the motive yeah if you're a powerful man of course the motive is to attract your attention yeah and once they've attracted your attention of course they have an end game and the end game in most cases involves your wallet Yeah, your money, your assets. It could even be a trap from your political enemies. Yeah, they want to paint a picture of you being very evil. Yeah, a man who deal, deals with the uh, nudes <laughs> of women and you represent people. That is the difference. Okay? And of course my friend was not able to see that difference. And I'm sure most men <laughs> will not be able to see that difference because most men I know Uh, the idea of just having nudes sent to them is too exciting for anybody to try and uh, <laughs> analyze the details. Yeah, the details are relevant, at least to them, when actually the details should be very, very important, critically so. But there's a new development on the political scene, and uh, this is what led my friend to speak like this. We have legislators from right across the political divide who are complaining, male legislators, And <laughs> what they are saying is that uh, we male uh, politicians are harassed more yeah, than the female ones. Now, of course, we are all aware that uh, sexual harassment against uh, our sisters is a very major problem in African countries. Yeah? Very major problem in Kenya. It is sad that the law has not been fully enforced. Yeah? I think the problem is many Kenyans do not know the law. And indeed, many listening to this channel may not know the law. Yeah? Did you know, for example, if you're seated two, three men, or even if you're seated alone, and then a very beautiful lady passes by, yeah? maybe she's wearing a miniskirt, maybe she, she has quite a bit of, uh, you know, the kind of assets that makes um, uh, the blood of a man uh, start speeding up in the bloodstream. Yeah? And then you start whistling, yeah? you start making some comments, eh? I'm a beba, you know, things like that. You could go to prison for that. Eh, I couldn't find. You go in, you're locked up in a committee or somewhere. Did you know that? Yeah, under the current laws of Kenya, sexual harassment is a very, very serious criminal offense. Yeah? Anyway, the MPs were saying 
that uh, the female legislators are not as harassed as they are. And so they started sharing, sharing their personal experience. Yeah? People like Junette Mohammed yeah, from the opposition, people like uh, Aiden Duale, <laughs> yeah? people like Chris Wamalwa, they all started sharing their experiences. And they said they are being uh, traumatized. And what is causing them this much trauma? Photographs of naked ladies. Okay? Because the guy is seated, in fact, one of them said uh, sometimes they're seated in the house and they're seated next to a female member. And then, the, the, you know, smartphones normally announce when there's a new message. Here, a message has entered. They open, and when they open, hey, hey, my jabu. Yeah, you find uh, that the immediate photograph that fills the screen, and you know some smartphones have very huge screens, you can see them from very far. The image that fills the screen is that of a lady, yeah, and uh, Amekavi Bar, she's seated badly, and yet she's on her, you know, wearing nothing but her birthday suit. <laughs> yeah, and they also explain the, ex the same experience when they're with their family members. Or when a child of theirs uh, starts to play around with their phone, that message comes and of course they click, and that's what they get, and they wonder, Ay, ui, daddy wangu yeah? So these uh, male legislators were really complaining, and indeed they have asked for protection from uh, the security organs of the country. Indeed, they said there's one lady who is targeting them, yeah, and she's harassing them with her naked photographs. Now, I know there's some men listening to this and they're saying, I, please harass me, yeah, please give uh, these ladies my telephone number so that they harass me. I want to be harassed, harassed, yeah, I beg to be harassed. <laughs> I have news to, for them, yeah, Paul Asana, you're not a legislator, you're not an MP. You don't have money. Yo tumbo yako si tumbo ya pesa. Wanataka watu wa tumbo ya pesa. Yo tumbo yako ni tumbo ya uji. <laughs> and this lady sending these photographs are definitely not interested in uji pots. Yeah, pots created by uji nyingi. You couldn't even afford a meal. So you, you drink a lot of uji to keep going. Hard financial times, they're not interested in those kind of guys. <laughs> anyway, my point for making this recording is very simple. And it's something called hypocrisy. Okay? Now, I can feel these MPs and where they're complaining. Yeah, especially the, the ones who say they're being harassed. I, I can get a feel of what they're trying to say. However, there's something called hypocrisy. Yeah, because one of these legislators, I shall not uh, mention the name, is a womanizer. He's a very serious womanizer. Yeah, and therefore it's easy for me to imagine how you would have provoked yeah, s uh, some of these ladies to start harassing the, him in this way. And that is if it is harassment. It is very highly unlikely that this legislator asked for those photographs. You know, this is the classic excuse of the womanizer. Yeah. You see a person who is a very serious womanizer, then this other lady asks him, you know, what's up? So you know what they usually say? Ah, wanawake wananisumbua. Yeah? I'm being bothered by women. Really? <laughs> and you're not bothering them? <laughs> you're not provoking them to bother you? Yeah. We live in a very hypocritical world. In fact, it's very sad that I cannot reveal this on this channel. Because this particular legislator I'm talking about, I saw with my own eyes. Yeah? Not being told. I saw, yeah, and uh, this guy appears to be quite kinky because uh, we're not talking about one woman. He had two women. Eh? Well, really, what do you do with two women, sincerely? Maybe I'm old school, eh? <laughs> yeah, and then it's the same guy coming here and saying, oh, I'm being harassed by naked pigs. What? Hey, quite human beings were hypocrites. Until next time. This is Chris Kumekuja.